the time of year when everybody's mailbox is starting to fill up with Christmas cards. You're starting to get them, right? That means yes. Um, <laughs> I've gotten a bunch of cards myself already from friends and celebrities. That's right. I know a lot of celebrities. Check it out! <laughs> so, that's right. Huh? Look at that, huh? <laughs> anyway, I thought it might be fun to show some of the Christmas cards I've received recently in a piece I'm going to call Conan's Christmas Cards. This is very nice. For example, uh, well, um, you've got a nice card here from Martha Stewart. Isn't this nice? Martha Stewart says, on the night before Christmas, I'm making a run for it. She's creeping away. And she's gotten heavy in prison. Look at that body. Wow. She's been working out. She's been pressing iron here. Okay, here's another card right here. This is nice. Look at this. It says... Once a year, he flies through the air and ends up in your living room. That's right, it's Billy Joel. That's nice. That story's about nine months old, but I thought we could still do it. No one can stop me. No one. Here's an interesting one. Season's greet. Listen to this. Season's greetings from your president. Yeah. Sorry, I had three, three billion of these printed four years ago. I still haven't run out. How Gore. That's sad. Al Gore doesn't look anything like this anymore. Have you seen him recently? He's 110 pounds heavier and has a giant Ahab beard. <laughs> Just telling you. Oh, here we go. Star Jones sent a lovely Christmas card. I didn't do the joke yet. Hang on. Star Jones sent a lovely Christmas card. It says, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and that's just the appetizer. <laughs> see, so. Wait, so, I don't get this crowd. What's the logic? Curse the alley, no! Star Jones, yeah! There's no justice in this town. All right, here we go. This one looks fun. Look at this. It says, season's greetings from one celebrity to another. Just kidding, it's Scott Baio. <laughs> Somewhere he's seeing this right now and crying. And someone's coming in saying, what are you doing in my house? And he runs away. Was that even necessary when I did? No. <laughs> Donald Rumsfeld sent this card. Look at this. It says, he's making a list. He's checking it twice. He's extending your tour of duty. Merry Christmas, Donald Rumsfeld. It's a nice thing to get. There was an edge to that one. <laughs> Here's uh, one from a guy who got into a lot of trouble recently. I guess he's trying to make nice. Check it out. It says, happy holidays from Ron Artest. This is nice. I'm going to check this one out and see what it says right here. And ah! <laughs> For us, that's an incredible special effect. <laughs> That cost $400,000 to do. <laughs> it took nine weeks of training and preparation. We could have bought a real tree if we hadn't done that. Instead of this robot. Um, all right, here we go. Here we go. That's all right. Settle down, fellas. That's great. Here we go. Dick Cheney sent this card. Yeah, Dick Cheney. It said, a light appeared and an angel called. Then my heart started beating again. <laughs> Dick Cheney. I had to work on him for a little bit. And... Max Weinberg sent this card out. Thank you, Max. That's, nice. That's right. It says, the holidays are my favorite time of year. It's when runaways are at their most vulnerable. Max Weinberg. I have a 
pervy Christmas. <laughs> this one was, I don't know, sometimes people are wise guys and it's a little offensive. Look at this one. It's kind of weird and rude. Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. Merry Christmas, Pope John Paul II. Just, thinking, just not right. Don't blame me, blame the Pope. He did it. These are real. Now this one's sweet. My, my wife thought, my, this is really nice. My wife thought that I should get a Christmas card for my little 14 month old daughter. So she wrote one for her. Look, let's look at this. Yeah, it says to my daddy on Christmas, I think mommy's going to leave you. I got sympathy from the crowd. And that's all right. Donald Trump sent this one. Behold the perfect child. This is a really beautiful card. Look at that. It's very nice. <laughs> I don't know why. And then finally, I'll show you this one. I'm not sure who sent me this. I haven't looked yet. I'll do it on camera. It says, what child is this? And can I have his phone number? Michael Jackson. We have a sweet show this evening. We're going to take a little break. When we come back, Jeff Goldblum is here. We will see you.